<laughs> Hello, ball bags, and uh, welcome to uh, another frame. It's frame one two seven of me one versus me two snooker. Um, continuing competition to find out who is best at snooker, me or me, uh, me one or me two. In this particular instance, usually in this particular incarnation, sometimes some other me's get involved. I was hoping there'd be another lockdown so we could have another tournament, but alas, that wasn't to be. Um, I uh, apologise for my non-appearance and our non-appearance uh, last week. One of the players uh, tested positive for COVID. Uh, we have been self-isolating together. It's been quite busy up here in the attic. Um, but today I did a test and all the other ones did a test and we're all negative apart from me too. But it, we, it'll probably be all right. Um, and... Uh, uh, my wife has told me I have to get this done in half an hour, as this uh, will be our first night together for uh, 10 days. So um, draw your own conclusions. That's me one's wife down there, I guess. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> we also have to watch some telly. So, you know, I'm going to move on. We're going to get on with it. Uh, I will say um, COVID was was hard, man. I was It was a battle. I, had to, I knew I had to battle through to... Uh, keep bringing your snooker hopefully some stone clearing soon as well um i've just been outside for the first time walked the dog for the first time in 10 days wonderful out there but i've been in the garden with my son but apart from that he had he's okay as well he's his kobe's negative everyone's testing negative now so that's good got uh, lampshades have you noticed that lampshades there's another one here as well slightly fucked that one up but um you won't see that in any of the shots um and uh, still a little bit tired, uh, getting a bit of a dip in the afternoon still. Hard to know if that's from COVID or being a parent. It was, I had no symptoms basically, so it was, it was okay. It's just been boring as hell. Um, and I just got a bit too tired to play snooker last week, so apologize, apologies for that. <coughs> and uh, we should be back with Twitch of Fun on Thursday. Uh, I should say that Ant uh, Anatoly Kuksov's family got in touch uh, to say they thought I was hitting his... They were d flattered by the name in the arena after him, but they felt I was mocking his surname. Um, I've looked at today's deaths to take someone over. Someone called Jonathan Brown, the art historian, 82, born in 1939, uh, died today. Uh, brown is a colour on the board, the old green board. Uh, so that seems like a, a good candidate, but I'm not going to name the arena after him. I will name the tonight only. I will name the Brown Ball after Jonathan Brown. Um, may rest in peace. Uh, it is obvious who it had to be. Um, unfortunately, Saturnino de la Fuerte Gafia, the uh, Spanish 112 year old man. He was the oldest man in the world and now he's back to being nothing again. He was there since 2021. He's been the oldest man in the world, 112 years young. Uh, the curse has struck again, and uh, he's been he's been taken down and replaced by a younger guy. When will when will people when will someone do something about this? The regularity, the short reigns. Someone's got to spot it shortly. Uh, also, it's a nice long name for Andy McH to fit into the scoreboard. Saturnino de la Fuerte Gathia. Um, Andy McH, I noticed, has just uh, subscribed on Amazon Prime, as you were all welcome to do, to this channel, which means that uh, he's just given us £3.50 of uh, Ian Amazon's money. And uh, it's already locked in, that name Andy McH said. And, you know, I like, I like to do that. And the Brown might have made the Will he go for Brown? He must have thought, oh, no, he's going to go for Brown. Um, you can still donate via Amazon Prime, you know, but please do it for some. I don't really care if it, 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 it's not netting us a large amount of money. Uh, so give it to one of the other Twitchers uh, if you don't want to give it to us. But thank you to the many people who uh, <coughs> who do give us three pound fifty a month for, of someone else's money. It's all right, isn't it? We put it towards making more shows and paying for cameras. Can that camera count? Clear, I look. Beautiful. Um, right, let's talk to the players. Let's get on with. I've got. To, I've got. To, I'm on a promise. Uh, so uh, let's. Uh, we won't be playing too energetically tonight. I can tell you that. Uh, me won. Lost last week. Roundly beaten. Forty-eight, sixteen. A very low score of just sixteen. 
How are you feeling about that, me one? I can see he's just sitting down in the chair now. Yes, Richard, um, thank you for having me back. Uh, well, you know, I have to. You're one of the two people in it. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I was disappointed with the last week's result. Um, I felt like I could, if I'd won that, I'd have been only three frames behind. Now I find myself uh, five frames behind. I, tonight is a must win, or I think, really, this contest is essentially over. We'll just be playing a, a dead rubber if... Uh, if any player gets six frames ahead, even if you are, even if you become the oldest man in the world, which I don't think I can catch up in the remaining, what is it, fifty? Oh God, it's, is it over half? It's not quite half your life, is it? If you live to one hundred and twelve, why are you saying, oh God? Because I will. I'm the same age as you, and I will also die when you die. So I'm working out if I was the oldest man in the world, I wouldn't yet. If I become the oldest man in the world, based on current figures, I wouldn't yet be quite halfway through my life that would be 110 this year so yeah <laughs> only halfway through um but i don't think i could catch up in all that time even if we played every week um i don't think we could uh catch up so i have to win it's a must win situation um and uh you know, it's good to be COVID free. I know last week we came here and the authorities turned us back, said our visas weren't in order. We had to go back home. Like it, almost topical. Nice. Thank you. Um, and so we had to go back into the bedroom. It was a lot of us just standing in that bedroom, wasn't it, for 10 days. 40 players and you and the commentators all just standing in a small guest bedroom in this house. Um, but no, I'm looking forward to I think I'm in a good mood. I think, uh, you know, I've no longer got COVID. I think I can win. OK, well, me too. Riding high, like a bird in the sky, flying. Uh, is that the nimble tune? I can't remember it from the nimble. Anyone remember the nimble advert? Oh, I can't remember. It went. Anyway, it's me too. Hi, Richard. Yeah, good to be back. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, it's been nice to have a rest away from the, you know, the drudgery of my sex life. Um, just to have a little bit of time to think. Just surrounded by all the other players and you, and the commentators and the referees in a bedroom. Um, and your son as well, who also had COVID. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm itching to get back on the old green board. So let's, should we just, should we just get on with it? Why don't we just get on with it? Let's let the snooker do the talking. Uh, we'll hand over to commentator one and commentator two. Let's try and get this done in 15 minutes. Commentator one, commentator two in the uh, Saturnino de la Frieta Garcia arena. May he rest in peace. And Jonathan Brown, may he rest in peace too. Uh, let's see how... Let's just check commentator one, commentator two. Hello, Richard. Yes, there it is. There's the old green, the green board, the snooker board, all set up, ready to go. You never really see that it gets set up, but uh, it takes a long time for the referee to, referee one to do it. And um, there you can see the other angle. You can just see Richard Chain relaxing in his seat there. There's some boxes in the way there on one side, recycling. Um, quite a mess on that far side. The scary puppet that uh, Richard's daughter has made has sunk into that box. Oh, well, there we'll be back to. You will. There's not. There's some nice things to see. A lot of people cl complaining about this angle. They don't like it as much as the other angle. But what I say is, fuck you. Fuck you up the ass. Look at the lovely cameras we've got doing all this wonderful stuff for you. And you dare complain, you motherfuckers. Uh, let, I can see me one is coming up to the old green board. Uh, I can see the uh, scoreboard hasn't been reset. Here he is. Will he go in off? That's what people say about him. He hasn't gone in off. He's potted a red ball. It's an incredible start. Uh, unbelievable start to the frame. There's two gone in. Two, four, six. No, just one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so here he is. Me one. Could get this pink. No. Oh, is he getting up? No. Well, it's 1-0 to me, 1. We don't need a robot voice to tell us that. Uh, amazing start to the show, me too. The green screen from Twitch of Fun in his way. He's equalised. It's the equaliser. You neatly done. And I think we might have a, a good... Uh, unfortunately, he's not in on the pink or the black. He's going to have to go for the green. Oh, just mu he muffed that. But he's equalised. No one can take that away from me too. And if he wins today, I don't know. I think it might just be like in a game of chess when you're that beaten, you just retire. So me one has a lot to play for here. He's missed. Mr. Sitter. 
Me too. Again, troubled by the green screen. Oh, but not when it comes to making an amazing pot. It looks like Me Too's going to me from the standard of play. Can he nudge that blue ball into the centre pocket? Surely not. Oh, it hits the post. Bounces out. Me Too in the lead. Just nudge the camera there. I hope that's all right. Me one. <sighs> Hasn't really got anything here. He's trying a plant. No. Oh, oh, unlucky. Me too. Walking around the table in the board, sorry, in his trademark baby shark t shirt. He's potted, but has he snookered himself? Or can he get this black? This could be game over. Oh, he's really fucked that up. Got overexcited. Sorry for the swearing, if there are any youngsters listening. Uh, commentate. This is commentator one. Me one. Oh, me one. Oh, he was so excited about being out of pot already. He didn't realise he was just pushing the cue ball straight into the pocket. And suddenly the gap is opening up. Calculating, calculating. Me one, one. Me two. Calculating, calculating, calculating. Seven. Oh, I remember when it was... Um, when there was it was one nil to me one. Oh, me too. The the red ball jingled and jangled in the pocket, like Boris Johnson saying he didn't know that there was rules about COVID and that it was a work party, even though work, it was work events were also not allowed. Really getting himself into a tizzy and then not and then being kept out. That's probably significant. Me one. Can he get this red? I think he's going to hit the other red first. He thinks he can get on the corner. Yeah, I was, I've commentated for a long time. The referee removes a grey hair from the board. No one knows who that belongs to. Me too. It's a long red. He's hit it way too hard. Oh, has he? Oh, nearly a beautiful shot there, but uh, I judged him too harshly. Me one. Oh, nearly missed the red altogether. Just kicked. Just nipped it enough and has created an amazing snooker. Me too will get out of it. But he's given me one the impetus. Easy red into the top corner. Me one pots it, but has he snookered himself? Oh dear, he was trying to get round. Yeah, he's going to go for the blue. He got it, he got it, me one. Two, seven, I make it. I think that was me one. Yeah, me too. Oh, of course it was me too. Ooh, very interesting play. And he set up me one again. It's not all over. Me one fans, me one. Pots the red, beautifully nudges the pink towards the pocket. Beautiful shot. It's the first two ball break of the, as long as that doesn't go in. Yes, it's the first two ball break of the match. And that changes everything. The pink has gone down. And uh, can me one get this long red into the top right hand pocket? Oh, nowhere near. It was so nowhere near. But a break of seven and everything's changed. Calculating, calculating. Me one, nine. Me two, calculating, seven. Me two needs some points now. There's one of them. Oh, anything you can do, I can also do as well. He's on the pink. Can he make it a break of, can he make it a free ball break? Oh, I got ahead of myself and so did he. Nicely lined himself up for the red. But me too forgot to pop the pink. And uh, me one, one, oh, can put the thing right behind him. Me one can only just hit, oh, it's gonna say can only just hit the red. He almost did a sort of impossible double into the center pocket. Me too. Oh. Nearly nudges the yellow or the blue into the pocket, but doesn't manage it. Me one. They're letting their snooker do the talking tonight. Oh, they're really finding some tricky positions here. Me one. Now, me two could get one of these two remaining reds. Again, oh, misses. Didn't spend enough time on that one. Me, me one. He's trying to double. Oh, and he's potted something. We'll have to go down to see which colour that was that went in. Oh, it's bad news for me one. He's potted the black. Me two leaps into the lead. Seven points for doing absolutely sweet Fanny Adams. And can me two, the box is in me two's way, but can he? Oh, just hits the post with a double. 
Me one needs to get back into this. They thought it was all over. It isn't now. Me too. Think you can get this red? Yeah, I was right. Look at that. That was a perfect shot. Slightly difficult blue. Can he come round this side? Oh, he thinks he can. This will be it. This is an unconventional shot, but it's worked out brilliantly for me too. Second two ball break of the match. Often you can go for a few matches without a single two ball break, but can he make it three? Can he double this red into the centre pocket? Oh, it was close, but me too finds himself streaking into like a streaker, streaking into an amazing lead. Calculating, calculating, me one nine. Calculating, me two, 21. And here's me one. No, poor shot. Hasn't even got a snooker, but me too has got a pretty decent chance of this. He's messed it up. May have got a snooker, not quite. Me, me one. Oh, me one's back in the game. Oh, as he just nudges that black in the way, the pink that he was perfectly set up for. He's going to go for the yellow. Again, tampered by this. Oh, he was hampered there, me one, by uh, beam right behind him. Poor positioning of the new board. Me too. Oh, he took it gently, but did not get that yellow in me one. Oh, took it hard. Hard as you like, and he's potted the yellow. Nearly potted the black and the pink. He's doubling the green. Oh, just takes a nudge off the... Is it 12, 21? That's what I make it. Me too. Possibly 9, 21. 12, 21. Me too. At the hockey. Oh, completely missed the green. He needed to give it a light edge to try and get it in, and that's put me one right back in this frame. It's 1621 now, and me one with the advantage of taking the next turn. Oh, so close. Oh, me one throws away that advantage by immediately going in off. What a shame. 25 plays, 16. It's a, it's a low scoring match. Once again, me too. Can he get this green? He can, it bobbled out of the pocket because there's so many balls in that pocket, but it bobbled back in again and referee one realized he should have moved some of those reds. He's doing it now, almost too late. But uh, me too has got the green. Can he, finish some, can he finish it from here? No. Me too, moves up to 28, 12 points the advantage, 22 points on the board. It's anyone's game. Me one. Well, I want anyone who's playing. Me one goes quite awry. Me two has a very long brown. Again, slightly encumbered by the stuff behind the snooker board. Oh, but me two has done a peach of a, of a snooker here. Me one thinks he can get around the pink. I think he's insane. Oh, he wasn't insane, but he only just missed it. And that might be enough. Will he resign if he loses this frame? If there's, the brown is a very, very easy shot. Me too, only really needs the brown. He's got it. I'm looking at me one sitting in his chair. He looks sullen, he looks defeated. But there's a chink of light as me too misses the blue. What do you think about this commentator too? Yeah, it's good. There are 20 points between these two players, 18 on the table. Me one must not pot this blue. Oh, but he also mustn't just set it up so that me two can easily pot it. Me two has easily potted it. Oh, and got right behind the pink. This should be a formality. Oh, he hits the post. I mean, I think he's won anyway, but he will he look back and regret that? Me one on 16, as he was last week. He can't really pot this. He's got to try and get a snooker. The black ball right on the top cushion. Oh, has me one potted the pink? He's done, he's done worse than pot it. He's just left it on. Me two is going to try and score 13 here just to rub the salt into the wounds. 
He's done it. Beautiful break of 13 to end on. It's an incredible score of 54, 16. I think almost perfectly matching last, last week's. Could you try again? No, 16 plays 54. Slightly, 17. shut, it's got, it equals 70, you're right, Siri, but uh, it's, uh, it equals a defeat for me one, a, a devastating defeat. 57-63 now, 16-48 last week, 16-54 this week, the, by my mathematics next, from two weeks ago, next time's frame should be 16-60. We're just working our way forward in time, six at a time. Oh, I don't know how me one is. He looked so disappointed earlier on, sitting in his chair. You might be able to see him there in the corner, sitting, looking disappointed. There's a light in his face. Mm, dear. Back to Richard Herring in the studio. At least we got it done in, in time for you to go and have sex, Rich. Or a kiss or whatever you've got planned. Well, yeah, I'm delighted by how fast that went. And don't believe me, I'll be going that fast tonight as well. It's been 10 days. I mean, I've been wanking a lot. <laughs> so it'll probably take a long time to have sexual intercourse. Um, to be honest, you know, if I come twice in a week now, that's game over. Um, oh, we on there? Sorry, I thought I was just talking to the other snooker players. Look, it's over. Uh, Satanino de la Fuerte Garcia will be... Would have been delighted. Fortunately, he's unable to see the show tonight unless he's watching from heaven above. I hope you are. I hope his family aren't watching. I mean, out of all the few people, 117 people watching, and every week someone's family sees it. Um. Anyway, yeah, I don't know how Me One is going to cope with this defeat. Let's find out. He's just sitting down. He looks a dejected and and defeated man. How are you feeling, Me? Me, me one, how are you feeling? Richard, um, some people are calling for me to resign in the chat room, probably. I haven't looked. Some people are saying, you know, it's time for a younger man to come in and try and take on this unstoppable megalith that is me too. An unstoppable megalith. Isn't a megalith uh, sort of still by its very nature? Well, maybe it is. An unstoppable megaphone, maybe. I meant he's an unstoppable megaphone. And um, I'm going to carry on. For my fans out there, I know I've lost some fans with my political views. I should never have started talking about my politics or my religion. I believe very deeply in the love of Jesus Christ and the redemptive power of him. You should never talk about that. A sort of very uh, evangelical Christian I am. I believe that anyone who doesn't believe exactly what I believe will burn in hell for all time. And I shouldn't talk about that stuff. I should just let people like me in the beginning for the snooker. I feel maybe I've lost support and that's maybe lost a little bit of my uh, mojo. But I'm coming back with the strength of Jesus Christ behind me. With him, with him standing behind me as I bend over the table, guiding my snooker stick guiding his snooker stick as well that he has behind me and, and helping me to push the his, the balls around. He'd be pushing my balls around for me. With that strength, I think I can come back. I think I can... Maybe someone's been maybe someone's been six frames behind before and come back. I'm devastated, Richard. I can't deny it. I'm going to cry. So let, just let me go. I'm sorry to the fans I've let down. I will try and think about the way I live my life. And, you know, do whatever it is to keep my career going. Um, I'll ask some PR people what I have to do. But I will get back next time. We're here next week, hopefully, and I will win. It'll be 58-63. And that won't seem as bad, will it? 120 frames. It's a bad percentage. Well, a devastated me one. I, let's see if me too is... Uh, the cock of the north crowing, uh, crowing his way through, or whether he'll be, uh, well, maybe he'll be in victory. He will be a, a noble and quiet man. Yeah, maybe I will, Richard. Here I am. I'm, I've won again. I don't get much pleasure. It was too easy. I don't think this is a fair competition. You've got a fantastic snake snooker player playing one who may have been good in the past. He's had some triumphs in the past. He's 
been ahead in the past. He's won some tournaments in the past. But right now, 54 years old, one testicle, um, unable to satisfy his wife due to his uh, flagging um, libido. Feel sorry for the lad and... Uh, you know, but I'm not going to go easy on him. I'm going to come back next week. I'm going to bend him over that table. I'm going to get behind him. I'm going to get my snooker stick. And I'm going to f- touch his balls, and and that's my penis. And I'm uh, I'm going to bum him basically, but metaphorically, maybe literally, uh, metaphorically bum him over the table until he capitulates. And that's the metaphor for me ejaculating in him. Anyway, there we go. It's been another fantastic week. Uh, Jonathan Brown didn't get a mention, even though the Brown did get potted. The com- the commentators forgot to mention that it was the Jonathan Brown in the excitement. It was very exciting. A break of 13. Three two-ball breaks, I think, throughout the whole evening. You've you've been treated to a cavalcade of snooker tonight, and I hope you've enjoyed it. We will be back, as uh, COVID allowing, next week. We've got it done in 26 minutes, and... Uh, that's all that's all we really wanted to do in it that's all we could hope for um take care of each yourselves and each other look out for yourself be careful of the covid it's a terrible terrible disease and um from me and all the me's see you next time catch you on for our thursday for twitch of fun i'm doing a rare hello supper tomorrow night but you're not invited um very exciting guest from america see you next time kids take care out there Where's the end?